Ladies and gentlemen, what's crack a locking? How y'all doing? And welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. It's your favorite gamer here. I'm the Puff Man, and I'm coming back to you. It's more Cold War zombie glitches. In today's video, it's going to be one that I forgot about, but it is insane. Over in D Machina, we're going to be doing it with the PhD slider glitch. So we got to get in with the PhD slider, but after that, it is smooth as sailing. So if any time you guys enjoy this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, you're going to want to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications. With all that being said, let's get into this glitch. Come on, baby. Let's go. All right, Mimi. Go. So the first steps here are we going to we're going to go to are we <laughs> we're going to go to about the end of round five. So at the end of round five, we're going to keep ourselves a zombie. And that's when we're going to start opening up our doors here. So I got myself a zombie left. And now I'm going to open up my doors. At this point in the video, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your support. It is truly amazing. And you guys are amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. I love each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget, guys, you know, board up those windows. Make sure you're dropping in front of your perk machines. That way there you're getting that loose change. And you're getting as much money as you can right off the hop. So pretty much what we're doing right now is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make our way to the power. We're going to go ahead and turn on power. Also, I want to remind you guys that I am gone on holidays. Holidays starting tonight. So this video here, uh, after tonight's live stream, I will not be streaming live until probably again the 26th or the 27th of this month. So my apologies, but I know you guys love me. You know, we all need a break, so I got to go on holidays, you know. It is what it is, baby. But I will be posting content as well. I don't know if it'll be like two to three videos maybe within that time. But uh, yeah, I won't be going live, but there will be some content being posted. And yeah, here we go. Power switch. Once you hit that power switch, we're going to have two terminals here. One on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. Go ahead and activate those once you've activated those we're going to go through a bunch more rounds here so we could get a bunch of cash so when we are inside of this dark ether so once we hit this dark ether orb which we're not going to be hitting it right away we're going to wait till we got enough points but once we hit it we're going to be able to make our way to the perk machine the wonder fizz machine and grab the perks that we need and uh yeah i'll meet you guys then baby okay so here we go you guys i got more than enough points here the end of round eight I'm going to keep myself a zombie. I'm going to go ahead and hit my ether orb here. Now, once we're in the dark ether, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way up into the penthouse area. That is where the Wonder Fizz machine is. Now, this Wonder Fizz machine is only there while we are inside of the dark ether like we are now. Or 10 rounds after you've grabbed the Pack-A-Punch part and opened up Pack-A-Punch. So this is why we're going to do it now before opening up Pack-A-Punch and waiting them 10 rounds. That way there we get everything done beforehand. So we're going to go ahead here, Wonder Fizz Machine, and we're going to grab ourselves PhD Slider. We're also going to be grabbing a Mule Kick, and then uh, pretty much grab the Pack Punch part. We're going to open up Pack Punch, and we're going to get a bunch more points again, because we want to totally be set up before getting into this glitch, because we do not want to have to leave it. So we're probably going to like Pack Punch twice before actually getting into it. And uh, yeah, let's get at her, baby. Let's grab this Pack Punch part and uh, put her on in the machine. So just a little update here guys on the stuff that you're going to want to have upgraded for this glitch. So in your skills here under weapons, obviously your weapon class guys, so whatever weapon you're using, like let's say if it's tactical rifles or shotguns, whatever you're using, you're going to want to make sure that is maxed out and you're using your crystals as well guys to max this stuff out. So make sure you have your, you know, like your weapon class maxed out. Uh, as for field upgrades, you're definitely going to want to have your frenzy guard upgraded. Uh, to at least a tier four or higher so at a tier four or higher at uh, the tier four sorry it increased the duration to 15 a second so it's going to help us out a lot while we were taking those death barrier hits that's definitely going to help us out uh next things up being the perks so obviously for perks here guys you know you're obviously going to want to have your jug upgraded fully uh mule kick mule kick at a tier two or higher all enemies have a small chance to drop ammunition and the next one being the PhD slider. Now, PhD slider is a must-have for this one. It needs to be at a tier four or higher, so it increases that slide speed and uh, it increases our slide duration. We definitely need those two things right there. So make sure you guys have this upgraded as well. 
and uh ammo mods i mean you could have your shadow blast shadow blast <laughs> it's not shadow it's shatter so hopefully you guys got your shatter blast upgraded as well i mean this at a tier five is definitely the best to have shatter blast is a beast for an ammo mod but yeah all that being said that that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys have all those things upgraded and let's get back into it okay so i just implemented my pack a punch part what i'm gonna do from here guys i'm gonna go ahead and shoot the five orbs that's going to activate the easter egg so the coffin dance easter egg there's the one orb right there here's the second one here now there's five of them all together like i said the third one's going to be up over here in a distance now make sure when you guys shoot at them they do disappear so you're not backtracking for it next one's going to be here in the window now this one's harder to get at but you know you guys could get it you could get it the last one's going to be right over here and what this is going to do it's going to activate the easter egg the coffin dance like i said and at the end of the coffin dance, we're going to get ourselves some free a jug. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is what it's going to look like after the coffin dance Easter egg. Go ahead, open up the chest. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, we got ourselves some free a jug. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I love it. I love getting that free jug. I love it, baby. I love it. All right, you guys. So here we go. The end of round 12. I got myself one zombie left. Now this is where I'm gonna finish setting up. So I got 2,200, uh, 22,000 points here, sorry. So I got enough to pack a punch twice and put on my favorite ammo mod. And the one that I'm gonna suggest here is Shatter Blast. But let's go ahead and do this. Now, if you guys already have the purple tier weapon, you should be able to go to the arsenal machine here and upgrade your armor two more times here. So fully upgrade your armor. Uh, if you guys aren't tiered up at the purple tier weapon rarity, then you guys can always go ahead and upgrade your weapon there as well to get a higher tier up. Next thing I'm going to go ahead here and do is pack punch by two times and put on my ammo mod. So hopefully the zombie doesn't doubt me. But there's the first pack punch. I don't want to kill my zombie either. And uh, also, guys, if you guys are wondering how do you have the purple tier rarity weapon already, that's simply because of the super Easter egg. Once you've completed all the Easter eggs, that's kind of like one of the gifts that they give you. So there's my second pack a punch right there i'm just going to swing around here one more time and we're going to go ahead and put on shatter blast so here we go boom shatter blast yes please and now we are all set guys we are ready to go if you guys do have leftover money or whatever go ahead grab yourself some more perks or whatnot and uh we're gonna go ahead and get into this glitch baby let's do it now there's two different ways to do this one being the way i'm about to show you guys now uh, this is obviously going to be the harder way. So if I get in on the first try, perfect. Uh, if I don't, then we're just going to move on to the second way. But the first way to get under here does not involve the PhD slider. It just involves us having the one a zombie. And then we're going to go ahead right here. We're going to lay down and it's uh, hopefully going to push us under the map. So let's see what happens here. I'm only going to give this one try because I find it's very complicated to do. We're going to lay down here. Once that zombie starts hitting us, we're just going to go up and down, up and down. And I don't think it's going to work for us today. Oh, 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 almost. We were almost there. Uh, no. Okay. So, the, but that's one way right there, guys, to go ahead and do that. The second way being the easier way, which I'm going to show you guys right now using the PHD slider. We're going to go ahead and breach the wall right down over here. And we're going to be hitting this corner right here, you guys, when we're doing our uh, jump slide. So we're going to full sprint, jump, slide while we're in the air. And right before hitting the ground, we're going to go ahead and pause and then unpause. And we almost had it right there. Ooh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. Almost had it on our first try. Very nice. Very nice. Let's try this again. Hi yeah. Did we get it? No. But once I do get it, I will show you guys. But that's where we're breaching. And again, to do the PhD slider, you need to be at a full sprint. You're going to jump. While in the air, you're going to hit your slide button. And right before hitting the ground is when you're going to pause and unpause. And just like so, we did it. Hell yeah, baby. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, if you guys choose to stay here, you can, by all means, go ahead and stay here. Especially with Mule Kick. If you guys got your Mule Kick tiered up, you can go ahead and just knock your head right here. All the zombies will pile up right there. And then you can just go ahead and get your critical kills and stuff like that for camos. Now, if you guys do not have Mule Kick, no worries. You can always move to the next area, which I'm going to show you guys now. We're just going to lay down right here. Now, we're going to kind of follow these poles right here. So, just continue crawling. Crawl, 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 crawl. Oh, yeah. We're crawling, Puff Man. You might get stuck, but no worries. Just go to your right a little bit and wiggle your way through. And we'll finally get through just like that. Let me through. Come on, baby. 
Now, once we get to a certain spot here, we're just going to turn to the left. And then we're going to continue on going. So, again, we're just following these poles here. So, there's the poles right here. We're just going to continue going. And at some point here, we should be able to stand up. Stand up right about uh, here. Perfect, perfect. Now, we're stood up here. Now, we're just simply going to go forward here, guys, until we get into this rock right here. We're going to jump up here. going to turn to our right. Sprint and jump. And now we are in the plane room area. Now, from here, you got the ammo cache right here. If you guys want to stay here, you can go ahead and put ammo on right there. I'm going to get down by these dogs. Let's try to get rid of them here. Such a bad round. Okay. I finally got rid of my dogs. But yeah, if you guys want to stay here, there's cardboard right here. You can just go ahead and jump at the cardboard. And that's going to kind of like make all the zombies pile up there. So again, wherever your head's hitting the ceiling, that's where the zombies are going to pile up. And then you can just come right here and see all your zombies nice and clearly. And you can go ahead and get all your kills and stuff there. But we're not done here yet, guys. We are going into another area right here. And now make sure your Frenzy Guard is good to go, you guys, because we're definitely going to need it once we hit the ground here. So let's just go ahead and try this out. So we're just going to make our way right into this area right here. It's going to drop us down. We're going to go ahead. We're going to spin around here. We're going to activate our Frenzy Guard. We're going to crouch right here. And make sure you guys are going in the right area like so. I don't even know if I'm going in the right area right now. I may be in the wrong area. Hopefully we got time here, though. I think we got to go this way here. So yeah, I may be mixing you guys up, but yeah, we got to go this way right here. Now I may go down here, but I doubt it because we'll have enough time. Crawl in right here. Boom. We are in the spot, you guys. This is it right here. Now just make sure you hit the front right here. And then once you've hit in the front, all your zombies are going to pile up like so. Now from taking damage from the dogs and stuff, that's always going to be an issue here. But all we need to do is there's like this little like ledge right here that we could jump on top of. So we're just going to back up to it, jump up on it here. Come on, you're going to let us up? Let us up on top of that? There we go. So we're up on top of it. Make sure you guys aren't too far to the right. You may take some death barrier hits. But if we're close to the left right here, we should be good to go. We won't take any hound damage or nothing like that. Super OP glitch here, guys. Nothing's going to give you damage here. Maybe a little bit of hound gas. That's about it. But just make sure you guys are standing where I am and you should be good to go. Super, super awesome spot right here. Grinding camos, XP, high rounds, whatever it is you guys want to do. Oh my goodness, this is the glitch for you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know how it goes down in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and keep my algorithm real. Subscribe with that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my awesome, excellent videos. Get in the game, glitch something out, have some fun. Until next time, I'm the Puff Man. Peace out.